And your clowns in the circus tonight are Machine Pansy and Spun J. <laughs> Or is it Spoonge? Spoonge. Okay. You want to say in his uh, native dialect? Yes. Here is Spoonge. And we're off to the races, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one as they leave the gates. We'll see. God's on the T side. My heart racing, Chadney. I didn't know you I'm trying to do my best Henry G impressions as we move No, forward. this is the Henry G impression. One smoke grenade, one flashbang, a P250 on Crystal. That's how he does it. Right. All right, well, I'll do that better next time. Simple's pushing forward with the CZ here, greeted by Steko, and well, the top side is looking busy. Yeah, it's not too great for Perfecto. He's done well to find one. Lights out for Crystal. Double kill on Steko. Flamey is patrolling that lobby for this after plant. Chances are Zen and Farley might want to push for info, and they're going to get more than they bargained for. Oh, he's missing his shots. And time continuing to tick. No kit. Time will become a factor here, and they're trying to overwhelm Stick. Oh my god, he dropped oh. straight down. They need this kill now, and he's done well to distract. All onto Zen. They know where he is. They can get on the bomb. He does well to find the first, but he knows Electronic's going to be babysitting this. He's not on the bomb yet. Interesting. <laughs> Looks like they've got time. <laughs> Narvi will take their first. Like the little baiting on the angle. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Good start. Bad. Yeah, good start. We, we will be having Skybox uh, coming oh, on through. Not, right. not immediately, um, but it will be. I have the tools. I have the features. I have the ability. So we will be breaking things down for everybody as per uh, the use these days. I, I guess we can call it that. Here's... So a high standard, haven't you? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. I used everyone. to get knocked out of tournaments by a team called Euronics. We got sponsored by them now. Yeah. Hello. Oh. It was a German team. Who was on that? Um, that? That wasn't the Jelek lot, was no, it? No, it was no. one beneath them, but they were equally as dodgy. We love German onliners. Back yeah. in the day. Okay. Back in the day. Now, now. We got one of the, we got a German online right now. Oh, they just team mollied right there going up ladder. So these are early blunders right here from Na'Vi. Uh, that hit a teammate. Didn't do any damage to anybody, but a bit of a flub to kick things off. So I'm so it, glad flub is in our vocab now. Isn't it great? Makes you think flubber, though. Yeah, if you haven't seen that movie, go and do it. It's a great one. Again, it's a bit of an age cap, I think. It Robin definitely Williams shows. Williams classic. Yeah, yeah. Didn't age very well. Oh, it does. It, it's wonderful. I just think that... The young, the youth of today may not know it's it's brilliant. The TikTok gang. <laughs> renegade, etc. Um, renegade. Yeah, different renegade from Chad. Okay, I, I was just thinking about a Counter-Strike team. Is no, 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 no. I'm out here living that TikTok. You know life. what's going on. Yeah. Lauren's got a finger on the, the youth pulse. That sounds dodgy. Didn't, I didn't like the way that came uh, out. That wasn't brilliant. That's okay, because we can carry on, and it's only <laughs> round two into oh, ramp room, and Sticko's lost his Galil, and Squander's another Zen. Oh, oh and a dim. dink. Yeah, this is problematic. Farley can't find Simple, and miss shot. Shouldn't be a problem, Farley. He's standing, sticking around. He's got no way out. Simple's just playing with his food here. What? And that's oh. the no scope head <laughs> shot. Excuse me? Neat and tidy, one of the... T neatest hip fire hit boxes and. Why is Flamey playing deathmatch in uh, Pro League right now? Flamey, he's dead, Lauren. Simple even. Oh, like, si simple plays deathmatch all the time. I just, I don't understand. Like, how is he just so consistently nuts at this game, though? Loves a good fight. So does Maiden. That's a big shot right there. There is a door and a window to top site. There's the door. Nobody's home. We got Boomich and Simple doubled up on ramp. Okay, 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 okay. Made into clutch. He hasn't planted, so that's gonna suck. That does suck. <laughs> Lots of steps and not allowed to leave his smoke. Okay. Yeah, that fake really cost him his, his chance. Minimal, admittedly, but recovered rifles. And Arvi gonna be very happy with this start. 2 0 on the CT side of Nuke. Double kills on Simple. He's awake. It's all cooking. It did make me giggle a bit seeing Flamey killing those people with the SMGs. It just we were watching a couple of source movies, you know, oh. together get mm. the blood pumping, bit of 1.6, bit of source, you know, watching people fly around and just seeing Flamey so casual. But like an SMG up against what it was I think Galil's. Was yeah. there an AK out? I don't know if there was. There was an AK made was one AK out. There was two Galil's in play. And it's just like it's so it looks so easy for them. And simple just toying with his food. I feel like he was shooting into the ball so he could gauge exactly where his uh set crosshair was. You know how you had that friend who put blue tack on his screen? Like, that's essentially the same kind of thing. <laughs> Smart. Maiden's gone for a hero AK again right now. Zen's brought him with some armor and a P250, so he's going to be chipping away and helping him. Stiko's made it so that the door, there you go, will have a hole come through with the Molotov. Doesn't have to shoot at all. So really? that's very, very wise of old Stiko. That gives him a, a hole to look through. Okay, I know I'm a bit stupid. Where is that flag from? Maiden, I think it's Montenegro. That's an awesome looking flag. It is, isn't it? It, 
I just I haven't it's seen it in no. Counter Strike before, so yeah, excuse my ignorance. Not many Montenegrin Counter Strike players. No, but uh, simple making light work of that hero AK that was outside, and it just plays in electronic. Just a nice little crossfire. No uh, opportunities found off the back of it for that, as I said, hero rifle that Madden did pick up. It could have been nice. It could have been a nice idea, but it looks like uh, Navi playing a nice, calm, collected CT side. No, no overzealous pushing. They've got the bomb sticko. Let me explain how he wins this, Lauren. Okay, talk to me. Talk to me. Um, he doesn't. Oh. But it could start with oh. a headshot. No, nope, not to be. Three kills for Simple, Electronic grabbing himself the last of the round, and just a nice 3-0 start. It is not going to be four rifles. I see a little problem for Maiden, but he's going to be grabbing himself the full SMG. You know what I would love? Oh, Chad, I remembered. It's Nuke. Remember Crystal was one of those gamers that was strafing over Mini and just running straight towards Hell? Yeah, indeed. That was cool. They had, like, the supporting utility to set that MAC-10 up. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, look who's got the SMG, folks. Mm, Hello. Alex, is your brain, like, clicks into here? Starting. Look, what's yeah, this? Up. Crystal's a very selfless in-game leader. He will do anything to set up his teammates. He understands that the, that's the best way to get him in the winning posture. So he will make a lot of sacrifices for his squad, and here's the first one. Outside smokes for now, a different strategy. Crystal and Farley to be set up for a walk. Farley for secret. So where does Crystal take this normally? Is he Typically, just... he, I mean, the move, specific move I was outlining mm. was one where he actually bounces off mini, you can great camera angle to explain it, over yeah. Electronic's head, strafes left. Oh, and Doesn't just... even take that fight and just pegs Straight it for the through. flank. Yeah. Cool, thank you. No worries. Now, they haven't been spotted. Yeah, and he can entry with this MAC-10, right? So Crystal is basically just a space maker for Maiden, unless Maiden wants to be the one going for the initial duel if he's feeling the fights. So that SMG means that Crystal can jump around, be a bit more of a nuisance, make it mm. harder for the CTs. And he'll also be able to pick up a weapon in the flurry here. So they will be getting the lower bomb site, but they have to deal with Flamey, who's up on the railing, coming mainly through decons. So this will be an interesting one. Flamey could have a multi-kill here. It's such a powerful angle as well, because you're shooting at his boots. Oh, here we go. On the way. Oh, they swing, though. And it's even Maiden and Crystal just swinging in. That's the AWP gone simple on that org, and he just rose. Or oh, sprays down three of them. That was very easy, but not quite the conclusion of the round. Bomb in Crystal's hands and planted. Boomich will have to contend with Sticko from elsewhere. Perfecto descending that ramp. Now, he has made a step. Sticko cognizant of Boomich. What's the situation in the smoke department? Kits, but no smoke. Ah! His Crystal has recovered his own, and he'll be playing around that. I like that. Isolating the fight allows him just to focus towards Boomich. That's quite nice. Sticko on the other side gets a little bit of a glimpse. So they're working it out. The CT's... Closing in, but... Could just molly it now. It's yeah, surely over. There's, there's, there's safety here. It didn't feel too much of a threat. There we go. Boomage down. There's the molly you were talking about. And that's a mouse wheel jump. You never love to see, I feel. Uh, save this orb? Uh, yeah, he should okay. be fine. So one of the curious things about that round right there was Flamey not having any idea that the door swung open. Now, I was looking at the radar as that happened, and there was another T-side player up top side next to the squeaky door. I, I can't check on Skybox if the door was opened or not by Steco. But what I'm thinking maybe happened was they opened the door simultaneously, potentially. Mm, okay. I'm not 100%. Um, and I don't know how we would be able to capture that. I could just be talking out of my posterior. <laughs> As we that's, so often do. That's our job here, Chad. We'll make it sound good at least. Um. I'm really excited about that Crystal Mac 10. I, I think you sparked a little bit of a memory there of him always kind of having these quite unique ideas, but this time around, I wonder if he does get the opportunity to use it. Ooh. Simple on the other side, though. That's going to be fun. Ooh. Now, they did have a molly for this last time. Now, I wonder if he's going to try and smoke it out himself. Crystal's about to be throwing that in. He'll get a shot, though. And he just to take the fight. It goes one for one. I don't think Crystal's complaining. Simple down, Farley frags, four on four. And you guys were framing it. He will sacrifice himself for potentially the greater good. And I mean, taking down Simple after what he can achieve, probably a tick in the box, but Boomich is on this. That's going to be a nice pickup. That kind of keeps control of the map. That denies any sort of wondering or any curiosities. And you can still see electronics in that filthy little angle. How do you remove this man cleanly? Yeah, it's a real, it's a really powerful spot. And of course, you see teams smoking out that warehouse when they're doing anything fast because of its existence. Oh, he might catch Zen here. Converts. What I'm seeing here, Chad, and I'll let this round play out, of course. It looks like this is still much. Deco, only Oof, the one. Nice kill. 
Now Maiden just has that bomb and three to find those electronics in the warehouse, so Loa's probably his best bet, but with the time present, he's just going to try and take this jewel, making lots of noise in the process, and he moonwalks into Perfecto's Famas. But what I've seen so far, Chad, is actually interesting. It looks like Godsent have got all of the right ideas, mm. but it seems that the CT side's timings and reads have been significantly more, you know, uh, comfortable. The fact that Boomich could walk down, like you've done the hard part, right? You've got your opening frag on the secret player, but then it's your Orpa walking down, clearing those close corners on his own, and Boomich gets one and suddenly the round's over. Yeah, so having the uh, AWP player in that close corridor is not ideal, but uh, it's not something that should necessarily fall apart so easily. So I, I think right now, Na'Vi are looking very solid across the board. Sybil's had a couple of multi-kills already. The individuals look like they're really poised. They're not chasing against the low buy rounds. So it's all good signs as Maiden hits his head right there. But yeah, just to build more into that point, I, I think that Na'Vi understand the serious nature of this. Maybe uh, the coaches have done a bit of gesticulating to make sure... Uh, yeah, just to prove to themselves, I mean, I, I, it wouldn't be a hard speech to give, you know? Teach me Russian, I could motivate these guys. It's not hard, you just have to t remind them what they're capable of, remind them how good lifting a trophy feels, and remind them that if they want to be doing it again when the world opens back up, then they need to maintain the form they had. And at the moment, we haven't seen glimmers, or we've seen nothing more than glimmers of the Katowice Na'Vi. There's another one of them, Boomich, patrolling the corridors, collects another head. Looking like five for Na'Vi, unless Chris still wants to add another two to the tally. He has time to work with. This isn't impossible. Far from it. Where's that bomb at? On the lower side, so it's dropped just towards the shadow position. Okay. Now, he won't be able to isolate a duel here. He needs to bait them into a one-on-one -on -one fight on the site. Pushing into the window, opening the door straight into the mousetrap. Oh! Oy, oy, oy. Well, it gets significantly harder now, right? <laughs> um, okay, options with 20 seconds left are kill both of them with two fantastic one digs as you swing the door open, neither of them react. We love the idea of it. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, he's got the rifle. I like the off angle. Trying to find a way in. Gave it a good go. Well handled by the Navi duo. 5-1. Yeah. Quite quick here, off the mark. Rounds are playing out a little bit slow, slower in the tail ends, but I feel like we're getting into the action early. We might see a pace change coming through from Godsend if their default with the AWP and the gun round towards Yard doesn't work. So they might just look to pick up more AKs and, and go fast. I wouldn't expect that to happen this early. It's still very, very early stages, but this is their map choice. We'll make sure we re remind everybody of that. You can see in the top right what we have coming up next, which is Dust2, Na'Vi's pick. So Fali won't have the AK. It will be a top hit here. They're setting up. Oh, he's going already. Crystal's out and See about. His leg. Yeah, it did really? Yeah. Oh, on the gap. Boomich flashed. It's perfect. Stabilizing the aim into the top side. Electronic through the smoke court again. Maiden's done great work into the site. His flashbangs paired with Crystal's frags. Put Simple and Flamey into dire straits, and they shave a lot of time off that clock. We were at 90 seconds. Now the bomb's down. We it's just cool. halved it. Yeah. Straight away into the ramp room. That's different taste for Na'Vi. And you said you wanted to see a pace change, and yeah. I think they agreed with you. And honestly, it was wild seeing Crystal so ready to offer himself up, but the sacrifice, you know, made it off the table and had a little go back. Two kills for him. He did very nicely there. Yeah, it was uh, not simple stuff. Um, it, 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 just a, a nice little top hit there. And the fact that he was able to get away with multi-kills on that site, it's not normally what you want to be seeing from the CTs. They should be able to be trading or at least grabbing an opening frag. So I might take a look back at that execute if I can get my little toys working. It was a nice little thrust, was it from Maiden, I think, that came through? Because I think that's the one that caught, I think it was Boomich, potentially. Yeah, I'm having a couple technical difficulties. This is oh, no. the story of my morning, I think. <laughs> still went to the to the trainer. I, I can't believe there. you did that, to be honest, Chad. I couldn't believe. I thought it was all just jokes. I thought you were just puffing up your chest. Of course I'm going to go. I 9 a.m. PT expected. session after an early hours finish. With Yeah. Well, we were having fun last night. Goodness me. I woke up at 1 p.m. and I'm tired today. You couldn't have woken up at 1. No, that's true. When did we have to go? You must oh, have woken up at 11. 10.30. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I, I made the booking. I didn't want the guy to have to... You... Don't want to waste his time. No. No. Speaking of time, Matic time music. out. As, uh, there we go. So it looks like Electronic is at home. Lovely flowers there in the oh, background. What an arrangement. Mm. The, uh, okay, so... you. Let's have a look here. You were talking about the books. I I, I missed them. I wasn't mm. part of the conversation. It does look very studenty. Like that looks like a that's she a looks. that's a student perhaps. Mm. 
Okay, well, five to two, we're back underway. Runny, boosty, yep. Yeah, yeet. Oh, yes. That was very nice. More of that. This combo, the way that Electronic and Simple can play off each other with Yard and Lower and Main, I think that they are very, very potent at it. They have a very good dynamic. Quite intimidating, isn't it? The yeah, concept just of those the names. Yeah. Hello and goodbye. Top site will be the threat. They are on significantly wounded pistols on this top side, but setting Simple up already for the opening frag. And they're just going to walk out contact. Perfecto just shoots him in the back of the head. No, oh, two, not third. But the damage is done. It's inflicted. Maidens can't do anything. Just bunny hopping into Electronic's warm embrace. Six, four, Na'Vi. And yeah, Simple Electronic Chad is often painting that picture of what they're capable of. 20 frags between the two of them in eight rounds of play. You've seen the run boost outside. Yard is really not going to be comfortable for God's sake if these guys have woken up on the right side of bed. Well, he did buy into an op there, though, so maybe we get some more of his antics, Lauren. I want to learn about this player, because you two seem to like the concept of it. You've seen something that clearly got you excited at some point, so I'd like to see what he does. Of course, it is a little tricky with, as you said, Simple and uh, the gang playing as they do, but let's see what they're up to this round. Let's see where he takes that op, obviously. Oh, hey. You don't like to see it. Oh, oh, God, we're having a bit of a... It's the ring rust, all right? It's their first official back since the player break. You know, that's they're just yeah, they're shaking true. it off. They're shaking it off. Got it, got it. And there he goes. He's found an opening onto Boomish with the smoke. So this is great. Crystal's found space out towards Yard. There's no rotation from the CTs just yet. They might not even have any idea that he is in this position. Oh. Ramp boost, getting simple up. Look at him. He's getting boosted here, there, and everywhere. Run boost, standard boosts. Maybe play some danger zone boosts. Stiko, by the way, Danger Zone, he seems to think he's a scout player. We don't talk about the scout players, do we, Rush? Are they the ones that no. uh, get the big ranks, right? <clears throat> Basically, Lauren, um, <clears throat> oh. scout players are seen as kind of the underbelly of Danger Zone community. The kind of Why thing. wouldn't you use the tools <clears throat> that Overlord Daddy Val so gave you? Cheap. It's so right? cheap and so effective in the, right. the gameplay that it feels right. like it's a bit of a cop-out. But if everyone can do it... It's not fun, Lauren. It's That's the thing. It's, it's not a fun, fun killer. We're trying to have fun We're here. We're flying around the map with our Scouts, fronts and our frexos. You can fly around with them, right? Can you not? You could, certainly, but people oh. don't. Lauren's trying to get under Russia's skin right now. I think it's working. So, <laughs> late yard smokes. 30 seconds remaining right now. No rotation to the lower site has come on through. They are heading towards ramp, and that is a massive trap because look where Simple is. He got that boost earlier. There you go. Oh, this is bad. Uh, he baits him perfectly, and double kill. Round over, unless... Oh, it's a flash, oh. and Zen does not. This is great work. Oh, oh wow. Between him and Flamey, Alex, that was ridiculous. He just sets up a flash, simple, boom, turns it, comes back. He makes it look so easy. He I... baited him exclusively. Like, he was not trying to hit any headshots <laughs> there. And then he threw the supporting flashbang. That's two rounds in a row we've seen Na'Vi give us prime examples of setting simple up. Electronic run oh. boosts him to find the first. Yep. And then in this round again, a boost into the bait. Really nice to Super see nice. Na'Vi have refined that. Get to see that one again in uh, the fly through. So here they come. A draw fire towards two. Flamey. The easiest two frags so far Flash. for Simple. Where does it come from? Boom. He turns anti and he can get that one completely <laughs> uncontested. Farley had no chance. He's left eye peeking with no teammates to distract. That's going to hurt. And that's seven for Na'Vi on the CT side. It's going to be very easy at this stage. They've read uh, Godsend in a couple of these rounds early. So let's see if Godsend on these upgraded pistols and that saved AK, which Crystal has thrown across to Maiden, can get anything done. Crystal had lower control there for so long. We saw him walk across the secret with like a minute left on the... Okay, another opening. So Boomish goes down again. He went down first last round, but it meant nothing. This time round, they will be making their way through secret. Oh. Oh, you saw them hit the brakes there. It looks like they've managed to weather that storm. Finally on the Glock Eco, or as Chad likes to call it, the Gleco. There's still no one... Uh, never mind. Yes, there is. Flamey. Flame Dogger. Yeah, the Hound. He's hearing at least one. So loud, but it's only one man making that noise. And it has not incited any CT rotates. Any pushes for info? Yeah, they're pushing Yard right now. So they're clearing all of Yard. They're actually going to come down secret with a flank from two individuals. That's going to be Electronic and Perfecto. Flamey, here we go. All right, so gets a fair amount of work done. As you said, everyone from the CT side is so close by. So Maiden's going to have to do some big work here. Bomb now down. Bear in mind, though, Farley only does have that Glock. They didn't have a great deal here. So it's all careful. Maiden. Oh, the timing could be great here. They're focused on it. Do they still check? Of course they do. Meticulous in approach, but Whoa. he makes good work of that. He did really well. Three kills, but Diffuse comes in again. Na'Vi, make it a little dicey, but they are 8-2 up here. 
Keeping it close at least. Mm. It's the positive signs with Plant going down. Money will be coming on through. Farley will be able to buy that AWP, but one of the successful rounds they've had is that top hit. So let's see if they want to go back to that. I think Na'Vi might have a, a better stake in that one. But also we need to keep in mind that Boomich has died first in the last two rounds and they haven't been able to make anything of it. So that is a really good sign on the T side of Nuke if you're finding an opening pick. But you need to be able to convert a round like that. So simple with 17 kills. I feel like he's been kind of the dissuading factor for it though. It's like, yes, they got, you know, opening picks here and there, then he'll go and do something dirty at ramp or he'll get that, you know, a 4k oh. here or there. A gap in the smoke. Yes, yeah. there is, and Simple's watching this. And he's got the perfect weapon for this job. Seeing Simple clearly has done his uh his homework during that player break. He seems to have found an affinity for the org at times. A situational weapon can be plied perfectly for his trade outside. Mm. I mean he's an AWPA who can buy a cheaper one with similar benefits to hold the angles when he's not against AWPAs. Much more versatile, isn't it? Here is That's the word. rotate in. He gets his chance with Flamey, a crossfire setup again, this time in the lower side. I like it. He could even need off the doors. Let Flamey just be positioned in the off angle, blow him up. This is all fictitious. Now. Oh, Farley. He likely would win that duel if Simple was to swing it on the sound cube, but what on earth are they doing? They've got they're hitting pause for sticker who's oh, there we go. Door simple has the sound cue in the barrel. Oh dear. That should be a problem. I'm just scared that simple still somehow wins that fight. There is no way he should. He doesn't. Nice work by Farley to find simple. But there's more there's more players down this side and the CT side. Who's in vents? Got Flamey over here. Okay. You got the double stack on ramp. I don't know how the CT's crossed unless they find individual fights that Flamey gonna fall back towards the site. Little underhand. Keeps them humble, slows down the T's again. We're at 20, what, 20 seconds now? Yeah, this is gonna get messy. Farley's caught out again in transition. Stiko was supposed to be the Lurk, and now, well, with 14 HP, he descends the ladder in 10 seconds. It's a real dire straight to find himself. Maybe he can go hold the line. Someone will walk on into his crosshair. It's more about survival for him. I'm a little bit perplexed. God sent with so much room, and then they're so inactive. You know, I didn't know what that pause was intended for. It's happened I'd... a couple times now, hasn't it? <laughs> Waiting for a, 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 a misstep from Na'Vi, Potentially, I but Na'Vi are rotating very, very tidily right now. Yeah. You're seeing the packs moving around the map with two. They're not getting strung out. And, and once the information has been taken from Godsend, or sorry, the map control, then they're not making any noise elsewhere. So it's indicative that the whole team is basically where they've shown their cards. Mm. So they're able to just set up and then as they hit the site, be in position, be ready to fight. And, and it's looking great for Na'Vi here. So this is a uh, not good start for Godsend, but great for the for the Russian slash Ukrainian squadron. It's a stark contrast as well to the, you know, the Counter-Strike we've been seeing a lot of um, recently. You know, for example, Heroic were playing this type of style where often fakes were a crucial component Indeed. in their play. And you, could, you, you saw the benefits that had, Absolutely. right, Lauren? You saw how often the planting of the seeds of it could be another one of them were crucial to and integral to a successful T side. And, and I love the way they were able to exploit those rotations. They've catch them so often. It looks quite pacey from Stigo here. They've done this pace change oh. though both times coming out of these pauses and it seems as though they're ready once again. This time though, Flamey right. does get overrun. That's not bad, but Simple's here. Last time he was the kind of stopper of all this. However, the T's have a bit more utility, a molly or two to just keep them off the angle and they do take over ramp. Crystal, this is Ooh, brave. Lucky timing. My word, you can ask for more if you're Crystal. It's just crossed. Completely dry. Farley and Zen down from ramp room as well. Boomich is getting locked into a very rough situation. Sound cues from both sides here. And found by Zen. Big round coming in from the fin. Looks like they can convert this. God sent a necessary third unless Simple wants to rock the bow. It does wow. seem like he's finding heads. Good precise shot to finish. The triple kill for Zen into the third for Godsend. And they've been very sparsely distributed. I mean, just taking a look at it, it was the fourth, the seventh, and the twelfth, respectively. Mm -hmm. They haven't strung anything together. This would be a fantastic opportunity to start doing so. Take a look at the Na'Vi funds. Even now, there's some sacrifices that have to be made. Should they concede this, we could be looking at a realistic five, maybe even a sixth. Yeah, considering how this one's puttering along, it doesn't actually feel that bad. It just is an odd pacing. So let's see if Godsent feel a bit more inspired now after that one. Some individuals getting a say in the round. Oh, that was very far forward from Electronic. He had a piece stuck his nose out and no one was home. He's lucky to get away with his life right there. So he's dipped all the way back. 
Oh. Forced a reaction out of Godsend, who now just have everybody in lobby setting up for probably this top hit yet again. We've got one player up ladder. We've got Boomich in the site with the MP9 playing spoiler. It's important that Boomich uh, is able to get a couple kills here because they're about to be in his face. Ooh, and he's getting pushed as well. Does well to get away, inflict some damage to Farley. Eventually found Perfecto. Wow. Finding some great shots into the site. Softens up Crystal, but that doesn't stop him. The German gets himself a third. Now Flamey wondering where it's all gone wrong. He makes it better. My goodness, a quick transfer on the descent. Farley scratching his head. He's in a 1v1 now. Flamey can, can bring this straight back to double digits. I can't believe he... Oh. oh. Our low six HP left on Farley. That was something else. I guess while they were expecting the dust to settle, maybe, you know, a little bit of a cautious play back in on it. No, 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 no. He just drops down, doesn't he? Takes the fire on all of them. But I, I still can't believe the start as well coming out from them. Just flying out towards Outer, trying to get all the information. Crystal popping off. He seems to be having um, droves of success towards his upper bomb site. He almost won it. I think he did pretty much gone of the victory last time around. And here he did very well until, of course, uh, it had to be clutched out in the end. That right there was just a contact play onto the site with a couple of people in the back lines with utility to throw once contact was hit. And it was a simple approach. And it worked very effectively. It was close round. Flash coming into Hart Bali. Can't deal with that. Perfecto getting away with a freebie. Eventually traded on out. Content surely should be getting themselves a fifth here. Should do. I don't see many worlds where they drop it, but I'm, I'm looking to see if there's anyone trying to make something happen. I guess simple on the boost could be something, but everyone else quite low. I, I mean, we've got CZs, no armor, no nades, no, nothing else to try and, you know, manipulate the round with. So see if anything more comes with this one. Boomich already taken down to what, 65? Spotting out Flamey. They're unraveling this in a smart, efficient way, it feels. There's no panic going on from the Navi, uh, sorry, from the gods inside of things either. They're just staying very, very calm, very, very cautious. Taking the shots that are given to them. But if it is towards ramp, it is the danger, man. Don't don't build it up. It can't, surely. With 12 bullets in the clip, he shouldn't be able to get anything done. And he doesn't. Crystal, not going to be fooled by the same trick twice. Instead, they have plenty of space. Weaponry favoring them. And don't do the godsend pause. I know it looks good. You have an advantage. Just go as a unit. Keep that time favorable. Smoke's deployed. We're all... Sorted Ooh, here. Doy. Yeah, okay. So now there isn't a weapon to be re retrieved. I think that's what the scouting mission from Electronic and Boomich have been looking for. And MAC-10 has been recovered. Not the greatest. Certainly not ideal. It is a bit of a Boomich special, though. He does love those SMGs. If you remember the game back in uh, Katowice at the start of the year, when Na'Vi were victorious over G2 in that best of five grand final, he was going beast mode on Nuke. He was doing some dirty, dirty things, I think. If you want to go back and watch that map, it will give you a, a clear indication of the type of Counter-Strike that we saw that day. Mm. Flamey going ham at ramps with spams. Getting an ace. Was it Was it with a Galil? Uh, yeah, I think he got two. I think he got four kills with one and then five with the other. One mag of his Galil killed five people. It was definitely exciting to see, and now V are on the way to doing a similarly powerful CT side finish. <laughs> have all the weapons and bells they need. It will not be ideal. I really want to see more from Farley. I I I, I like I the concept. To dust tour, okay? I feel Maybe like I this oversold is... him going into. No, no, no. I, I think Nuke's going to be a hard take, whichever way you look at it, right? But he's sure. been, he's been really shut down, and I, I'd love to see what he can really bring to the server. I think it's exciting to see new players. You know, it's it's. I want to see what he can um, do once he gets the opportunity. Uh, no AWP this time around on the rifles. And we've got the early nade, early smoke, and we're going straight through. Sticko this time going to stick it. Makes it out. Boomage going to be on red alert here. <laughs> yeah, catches him in the smoke. That was half. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say luck. Crystal going for brute force. And you can hear so many steps. He wants to address it. This is just lambs to the slaughter, the lemmings. Supposed to be nothing more than smoke and mirrors. Finally got the bomb down the vents, but now pivoting back towards secret as the casualties have stacked up. And got a little out of control, a little out of hand. Simple could be caught unawares here, and the same could be said for Zen. Farley on the round the world tour. Prove something to Lauren right now, Farley. Come on, win a one on five. <laughs> None on five. He tried. He certainly did. And we will continue to try. Sponge the MVP of the first half. And we'll be right back with the second. <sighs> so...
But to be honest, I don't mind Cause I don't feel the same way I used to do Every time I see you, I know the truth Cause baby I've been living in the shadows for a while Demons calling me from the afterlife Dark doesn't face me anymore I can to my tears into gold Yeah, yeah I don't care, no, I don't care Yeah, yeah I don't care, I said Cause baby There's no defense, I'll buy it if I want it I'm going supersonic, come on back for it Alright, okay, running out of luck Too much in my club, Nisi run it up Why you always tripping like you top, cause you not My team pop, shawty I know Why you always tripping like you top, cause you not Welcome back from the break. You are joining us for ESL Pro League season number 12. Would you bloody believe it? And we've got Na'Vi taking on Godsend. Map number one, Nuke's going at a relatively slow pace, but hopefully you're not lonely or bored at home. 10-5, though, actually isn't as condemning as some of those rounds felt. It looked like when Na'Vi win, it's extremely convincing. You see your big rounds, you see your combinations. But actually, 10-5 gives room. It may not be a great deal of room, but it's enough to build something from. It certainly is, and it does seem true to trend. These teams have played five times this year, and over, over the course of those five uh, challenges, it's actually all throughout the same tournament. Hmm. We saw Na'Vi best them in four of those five maps. However, 16-13, 16-12s were not okay. uncommon. Godsend have been getting close. However, absent the cigar, we're into our second half of our first map. Indeed. Let's get into it. Now, what I just noticed there, as we had uh, Stiko adjusting his little camera, I think Hi. he's doing some content. I think he's, uh, he's got his Is little... He? His little uh, he's uh, jiggy. Yeah, he's setting it up, recording himself. Might sit on his YouTube, Hold but we're on. going top. Yeah, we are, and we're going fast. Looking for the early frag. Whoa. Simple. Is he on the raid boss setup? My God, I haven't seen that in a while. A Tech 9 armor pistol. And well, his team has evaporated around oh. him. That's the end of that. Maiden does manage to grab himself an important second. And the same can be said for Godsent. They'll be needing that one. I like Crystal's a, hair and posture. He has a branded crystal pillow on his sofa. Ooh. Now, Ooh. I can't... Know, like a present there. from like a significant other of some variety. I was playing World of Warcraft the other day, Chad. Of course. And we were on Discord because it was a plus 22 key, you'd understand. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, and what are the effects? My, the, uh... It was a uh, good question. I think we're on this tyrannical week for sure. So okay, okay. Pretty tough on the boss yeah, fights. It's not, it's oh, not easy. But, Bloody pixies and wizards. Yeah, but my name in game is YS. YS. And now it's very important to kick certain spells. It's an interrupt, right? You know, don't let that through. Yep. They kept calling me East, but I didn't realize I was East. So when they said East, take first kick, I didn't take the first kick. Uh, and I said, it's okay, guys. Just, just call me a machine. 
And they were like, Machine, what is that? That's such a bad name. Um, so, oh. oh. So I actually have been laughed by uh, laughed at by World of Warcraft nerds for, the, for my Machine nickname. Okay. I, I oh. added them on Real ID and they were like, oh my God, your name is actually Machine. That's so sad. What was their name? I don't know, Maddion or something. Oh, well, they shouldn't bully you for things like that. I agree. Why my feelings. Bully? Ah. Ten to seven, nice quick pickup. Nothing too much to write home about. The fact that they did lose some of their weapons to those Glocks, certainly not going to be uh, an A plus on their report card. I'll give him an A minus. He's still pretty clean. You know, Chad, I realize you said you like his posture in his hair. It's because he kind of looks like you, isn't it? <laughs> like, Chad, look, Chad like, is extremely vain. I don't think people realize. He pretends he's not. He does this thing where yeah. he's like, ah, you know, that's not me. But deep down, oh, I mean, Chad's shocking. definitely not one to shy away from the acknowledgement of ego. I have a massive ego. He yeah. loves it. And, uh, I and swim in it. Please tweet him that you like his hair or he was funny today. His I need attention. I need attention. Mention his tan. He'll like that. He'll like that a lot. Well, it's not got much of one left, unfortunately. That's why you got to ham it up a bit. Farley. Missing oh, and tagging. Come on, huh? Farley. It's not the dunk he was hoping. Oh, come on. He's getting a bit hungry come for on, that. Come on, Farley. A bit hungry for that one. Oh. Zen, in the meantime, is getting tested. Stiko the same. It was actually through the door. Flaming managed to tag towards the mini position. But simple, the casualty that does look like it's put Godson in good stead. Yeah, I want to see what the T's do with this now. They've got a little bit of room to work with, but looking at Electronic, I think they're a little curious after those, you know, deep nades coming in and that pressure towards the outside area. Flamey obviously over by Squeaky, and for now the CTs hold a great deal of the keys to the castle here. Looks like the L block smoke's coming on out towards the yard position. No, it's just for main and one for warehouse. So Zen will be on the receiving end of this. He is on low HP. And he's going to see that nothing's home, but because of the low HP, maybe he won't peak. Yes, he will. So the teammates flash. It does a lot. Electronic will have that Q coming through. Boomich is selling a bit of a dog and bone over here towards ramp, and it's going to be a top hit. I know that means phone. Phone? Yeah. He's do it. I'll explain it later. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. It's a fake call, I yes, guess. Yes, there you go. All yeah, oh, right. I got you. Nice from Maiden. Very important fragging. Whoa. Still looking to turn the tides, this flame and he's on for a third. Whoa. Now we are on to something. Does try and take him down, the trade comes in. That's a huge turn of events for Na'Vi. Oh, Flamey, he saves the day in the loss of Simple. Electronic wasn't pulling the frags, it was Flamey to save the day. And yeah, he's right to be in the center of your screens for that 11th conversion. Nice stuff from him, Flamey. He's one of the individuals on this team that seems to be in flux quite a lot. We never can find a consistent Flamey. If we could, we would talk about a star trio. You know, we would talk about Simple, Electronic, and Flamey. But Flamey, unfortunately, never really lives up to that title on a consistent basis. So uh, let's hope that he can give us something today to scream and shout about as we get some smokes over towards Yard very, very quickly. The bomb is on the back of Electronic, and he is also heading in that direction. This horrible buy. They already have lower control on Boomich, who's made it down the vent. So the rotations are cut off in that part of the map. Crystal taking lobby control, so they know it will be the lower hit coming on through. Yeah, and to get this information fast is, is beneficial considering the weapons. They wouldn't get themselves into favorable duels. I love this spot from Stika. The one problem... Okay, so Farley's got his back. Oh, we are set. This looks strong. And the only gap now is if oh, Farley goes down. Oh, no armor. That one really leaves a mark. Sicko's going to have to fall off it. He had decon on lock. Now a reload. That could be a perfect cue for them to hit the go button. They are swarming into the side now. Sticko's overwhelmed. Oh, and Crystal couldn't do a thing. Maiden's only got the shotgun. If he can find Electronic, no. Zen and a very oh. low HP. Oh. Farley, just Zen, necessary. Now all onto Electronic, very winnable. Very, very attainable for Electronic. Bomb retrieval, step one. A frag onto Zen, step two. And step three, faking out Farley. He is going to be descending that ramp. Low HP, no armor. Orp, though. And Electronic, will he be able to scurry away? He's going top site. Farom. Uh, we do need to get rid of this. That means why. Sorry, guys. It won't happen. It's just I've been doing a lot of German today or yesterday. This is so hard for Farley to win right now. Yeah, he's screwed. No kit, no armor. Because he lost track of him. He was playing in rotation, so there's no point even looking for this. To try and find electronic, it's like finding a needle in a haystack in that lower site. So do I need to explain that dog and bone phone fake? It's just one? it's a, it's a reach for me. It felt sorry. It was I'm trying. Of, no, no, things. it was quite nice. It was just like a lot of mental steps that I'm a bit slow at. Certainly. I thought you said that you were on form today when I was saying that Alex and I are slow. Sure, I'm just saying that my average is still slow. Oh, okay. so maybe we're all on par. Phone. <laughs> you would just say the first word in Cockney rhyming slang. Yeah. Just say he was on the dog. 
And then if you'd said you'd go up the stairs, it's apple and pears, you'd say, I went down the apple. Maybe you think of a pub. Uh, I was just down the apple. Just down the apple. Okay, well, the where's said. the toilet? Where's the bogs? It's down the apple, mate. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I, w- I would never, I would never last living in your crazy country. It's not real. Uh, um, it's, it's just a fictitious, fun language that still exists and is spoken by some in the same way Welsh is. I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's fun. It's just confusing, and I'm confused at the best of times. So, <laughs> sorry. I get that real life social anxiety, and you know, in a place where they're making up. We're having a, a breakdown here. Excellent. I can line, join in if you want. I've got a lot of this to go around, and Farley might be having a bit of a time recently because he's dead again. And the orb's gone, so he mm. saved it for another shot, and unfortunately for him, he won't be getting a crack in this round right here. So now if he's looking to break through with 13, just need to evade oh. these pistols. Oh, Crystal. <laughs> where is the orb? Is it up top? It's just behind him, so... Oh, no, you're right. It is up top. Oh, Bloody hell. Is it's all gone peak Can we look at the orb? Yeah. Off he goes. Hey. Oh. oh, it's right in the middle too. It's not even like an easy... A jump E? Yeah. No, no, not at all. Oh. Gosh, are you with us? You haven't said anything. I tried to speak to you before. Yo, what up? Oh, there we go. <laughs> look at this. Oh, Flamey is up here. Never mind. Yeah, what up? Oh, oh, go back, go back, go back. He's go going up. Oh. What is this observer? I Alex. Play. Catch a kill. Uh... <sighs> Flamey was on the roof. Chad clearly communicated it was Flamey wanted to watch, and then we sit there and watch someone Sticko die. Sticko kill one, no, maybe. You think Sticko's going to get this kill? Hold. Go on. Wait. I'd be watching Boomich if I'm honest. No, no, no. Stay with Sticko, Rush. Ah, Boomich for sure gets this frag. Boy. No way. Yeah. You think? Yeah, he's jumping over that box. All right, let's have a look. Oh, wow. Well. They're glad you trust me for once, Rush. <laughs> Jesus. Nice, guys. All right, we're going to get rid of that for now. It's clearly too much for him to Same's speak and Rush. observe. Don't call him that. <laughs> The guy under Christ. the stairs. Harry Potter, wheel him out for a show and then no, put him no. back in. <laughs> I, I, love him, I love him dearly, uh, but clearly I'm like, I know I'm the third wheel in the danger zone relationship. I'm not even three. involved. No, and I'm just grateful to have any sort of attachment to that wagon. It's very fun. Rush is very good. Um, but I, I know that I'm, like, when the HLTV podcast is on, I boot up my PC because I know Rush Lee needs a f- replacement friend. It's worse when he gets another friend in who's just completely different to any of them. Uh, for now, those CTs are still on a bit of a shoddy buy, of course. You do see the CZs, you know, what have you. Scout for Farley. Ooh, here we go. Boomich, nice and quick. Let's see if Rush is on the right person. He is. Nice choice. Oh, you're going to really upset him, guys. Oh, I, shut no, up. I know, I, know, I know you think uh, it's all in, fun, in good fun, but Rush takes his job very seriously. Okay, who's, no, who, who's known Rush longer here, Chad? You talk to me like I wasn't the one who knew Rush before, yeah? So let's let's roll it back in. He's played a bit of danger zone, and now he's trying to pretend to be the good man here. Calm it down, Interesting mate. Just smoke here from Sticker. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Doesn't. I think it was. I think he was using it so he could hear over as a one way because it's thrown between. Is it on the ladder and he underhanded or something? It's somewhere under the ladder position that he's thrown it mm. into a rafter there, and I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. It could be a cool little CT smoke to peer in over like a one way. Should we pretend it's intentional until we can find out? Because it seems like a. I really had nice one. Idea. We had one last season, Lauren. No joke. Oh, so don't. so Nico came out mid and like yeah. he missed through his nades, and the, but the smoke, it landed and it covered off the window position. It was like, oh, that's yeah. It worked perfectly for the strat they were running. Yeah. And we're like, Nico, so you did this and da-da-da-da. That was great. And, I love that. And I asked him, he's like, nah, I, I, I just missed through him. I was like, it's all right, mate. We <laughs> sold it. We sold yeah. it like it was intentional. What well, <laughs> you got to, it right? If it works, it all made it's, sense. it's ingenious. We're into the real business end, the pointy end of Snap Track Doppler. Still in pro- oh, he's in trouble. Probably, yeah, this is the top side oh, take. Maiden ashes. again, delivering in the doubles. He's burning in the molly. He will be overwhelmed by Perfecto, but damage inflicted, keeping things level. The rotation and, oh, that's embarrassing. Farley jumping down into the Molotov, and broke his legs and broke the back of this godsend defense. Sticko on an island, walking oh. now into the electronic crosshair. Collect a rather simple frag. And speaking of the devil, he's just planted. Oh, it, it, this is for 15, so Zen, it kind of feels like he has to go for it. They had three low buy rounds in a row. And now, with the guns out, he's getting himself an AK. He's do- dropping down the van. He has to go for it. They, they need to convert something. This is over quick. Come yeah. on. This is the angle I was talking about that I really like from Sticko. I think more players are starting to play it. It's so, he likes it. Yeah, it's so hard to push him off. And that's a prime example as to why I'm glad we stuck with Zen there, just because you can see how little mm. of Simple was visible. You're getting shot at by his boots. Really quite frustrating. Interesting. I do like the way that kind of, you know, you, you certainly bring it up a fair amount, but like the right type peaks, the positioning, how aware people are now of like player models and how to kind of approach it. It's quite, it's quite fun. Um, 
Mason's made a bit of an impression, I feel, during this game. I was, I was obviously oh, yeah. looking towards Farley as being like one of the names I don't know and hoping he could do well. I'm sorry. I, it's, it's not on you. Again, it's, he's just had a rough game, but Maiden seemed quite exciting to watch. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's one of the bigger names here on this Godsent roster. Okay, last ditch attempt for oh, Godsent. He's going to push on the reload, I reckon. Crystal's feeling it. There it is. That's a risk. Okay. He got spotted. Yeah, okay. Is that bomb on simple? It is. I mean, he's a brave boy. Yeah, he's one of the bravest. Yeah. How many kills does Simple have right now? I saw 21, like almost on the half. 26 so. electronics up there, close to 20 as well. So it is the show that we're looking for, right? All the names are in the order they're meant to be. Right. 19 there, as you can see on your screen, they are lining up their smokes potentially, just slowing this one down. They know they're up against this weaker buy. MP9s have been called on through, but maybe Maiden can get something done again. Has the M4, the best weapon on the side of things for Godsend here. So let's see how this one tapers on out now as we just crack the minute mark. I did like the train of flashes they had going in towards upper. They were beautifully done, but for now, it's a little bit, little bit of a different look. Utilizing the smokes for once on the outside area, down they go. So that hit, so I don't know if they were close enough to hear it, but they certainly consider this, because look at that CT side. Already primed in position, made in the man we're just talking about. In a good spot here to try and make something happen. Plays in Zen. He gets a little bit of job uh, started, but oh, it left feels like it's all for nothing. Crystal, though, You're going top side. Yeah, the Perfecto's got a completely wide open site. Flamey to guard the vents. Bomb uncontested. Farley only with the scout. It certainly does not bode well for the three remaining Godsent fraggers. This was Godsent's map pick, hoping to exploit some weaknesses they'd identified within the Na'Vi map pool. And it seems that they definitely have had their breakfast this morning, looking good, looking poised, looking like the right names, as Chad has outlined, are in the right place. And so, really, oh, maybe Farley can wait to find a way in and a missed shot from one. Does give him a second bite with the scout. Now a lot of work for Flamey to do and overwhelm. There's Farley in the oh, feed yeah. and he has got time for the kit. This one does not end. And that's off the back of the scout retaking top site. You don't get to say that very often. Was it Flamey last alive then? Or it was, yeah. yeah. It, I felt like he was almost just like out of it at that point. You're playing back in with like, you know, lighter weapons. But then he had to kick into gear in that casual Crazy. 1v3 that came out of nowhere. I think it was very unexpected. I don't think you, as I said, you can't predict the scout to bang out to, but it's Crystal over in towards the vents. And here we go. I get to see it from this perspective. Let's have a look, see how it is. Because these are hard shots. They're in they weird are. angles too. There we go. Nice. First duel, and then he had the movement speed. Perfecto couldn't track him. That's really, really, really good shots. And just hunting him down with that AK for a clean headshot and the retake. Lovely. Okay, eight. I like that from Godsend. They had plenty of cash, though, on the Na'Vi bank accounts. 12k or so before they started this round on some of their higher fraggers. Mm. So Zen's off on his way towards the secret area. In fact, he might be doing the jiggle with the smoke, it seems. Down they go. That's enough. Two descending. Love to see if Zen's going to drop that smoke now. Just playing that pixel gap, so now. Anchor Rush Lee, thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Now, Na'Vi have previously had an issue with time. This doesn't seem like it's been anything worth talking about in this map. And I'm honestly quite glad to see it. I hate the 20 second gamble it in and it works when you have someone like simple and electronic or you know these players popping but it's a dangerous game to play but it hasn't been a conversation oh. for today zen arm oh, spotted zen's done so well he gets away Still from alive? yeah he's done fantastic wow. work look at their health should be set for nine now down to stiko and zen to confirm it electronic to try and right the ship but unfortunately stiko's here double kill puts a ninth on the board for godsend happy to upgrade to an ak as well better Money, it didn't quite get to catch it before we get to look at the lovely Martin. Is it Stike or Steak? I say Steaker, so. Yeah, so we just call him Stike, Steak. I, I get, yeah, I guess. I, they never really tell us how their names are going to be pronounced. Even when we give them opportunities, they say, yeah, call us whatever you want. So. I, okay, Farley needs to join the, uh, we'll add him to the list of players that play with direct sunlight on their monitor. Like, for some reason, that's like a gaming fad that's, that's back. It's a new one. It's a new one, yeah. I, I know back in the days when we were all basement dwellers, it was much more about being able to see your screen. I guess the sunlight a priority for some. We need your vitamin D. D. It's very important. <laughs> you can take it in pill form. Yeah. Mm. Swallow the D. Alex. It's too far. Boomich. 
trying to play the fine balance of not going too far himself. It's a dangerous game, of course, as he knows his players outside. Farley's on one HP, barely alive at this point, and holding the most tiny of angles to play it safe. One HP. I do like this from Navi, though. It feels like they have more direction in the way that they've been approaching their T rounds. When they had the low buys before, they kept it super neat and tidy. They only they dropped zero kills in two rounds back to back, and that's not normal when you see Navi in the server. It's not much more chaotic and last minute, and they look more methodical. Like they switched on here today. Yeah, much more reminiscent of the Navi we've seen in offline showings. More restrained, more on. On the pulse, good chance for Maiden. He's done so well previously on their top side. Takes it falls to Crystal, quickly traded. Simple on the war path. A big frag from Stiko, oh, but my oh, God, trades. we're catching all of them. Dramatic into the top side. Farley with only one HP. What can you do? He's been spotted out by Flame. He's angled, but he does enough to draw his attention. They've got 42 health between them. Boomich to clutch. 20 seconds and Zen. They know he was around May. He's going to go and play the. CT oh event. dear. I quite like this. Boomich maybe assuming that Farley now. isn't going to peak too much. Nine seconds. He's on the run. Zen waits out, just cautious in case he was being baited in the vent. Oh, it's too Boomich. late. It's too Did late. He... Is it? Has he made it? Yeah. I think he's just got it. Oh, oh, Boomich, Farley, the one HP clutch. Bloody hell! It, it, well, babe, imagine if he fell and cratered. Oh, shut, shut up. Imagine. Shut up. We don't, we don't. Would, imagine. And then we would just have to sit here until the bomb detonated. That would be wild. Ah, I'd love that, actually. That'd be an interesting end to a round. You want that, do you? Well, no, not for <laughs> God's sake. I just want to be... <laughs> it would be a spectacle. A unique one. Got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the spectacle. I'm trying to have fun these days. Lauren, that's the thing that I neglected in my life for a period of time, so I thought that, that'd be fun. It's a short word, however, a very complex concept. Boomich picking his nose more than he should. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got the recliner back. I saw you over at Clone, and we have the Plague Doctor in the house. Welcome. Okay, so Navi will be scrapping together a bit of a buy here. Now that we've hit double digits for Godsend, this, be, this starts to become even more possible. Looks like they're going to posture for one of those top hits that you liked before there, Lauren, but a bit of misdirection thrown on in for good measure. Yard smokes are out, and the top hit could be coming on through any second. Here we go. I love a Tech 9. Let's see if it can do any more damage. It kind of fell a little flat with the raid boss. The simple was now Crystal turned away. does well, but it does set up simple to do that. Two big kills, and he does have the bomb as well. How many responsibilities can one man have? Yeah, I'm not sure how Maiden's going to get himself back out of that. A smoke does look enticing. Zen, no armor. Same cannot be said for the rest. That's peculiar. Nice work for Stiko. Maiden. Yet to come up that vent still. Time on this. There is a kit on both of the remaining CTs as Electronic keeps it level. Oh, Maiden distracted. Flamey couldn't connect the bullets. Electronic's got a good lot of suppressing oh, fire and beheads him. Needs to defuse now. Maiden's running out of time, running out of options in the tag. He's drawing more fire, more time out of the Maiden clutch. This is enough. This is survival. And it should be enough for the 16th. I don't think he's got time. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? On the tick. Last <sighs> tick to fuse. And Godsend will play again. Take a bit of a breath right there. That one was Eesh. close. But this is good. It means that Godsend are finally warming into things, right? This is their map choice. This is the battlefield that they selected to be taking Na'Vi on. And it didn't look great in the early stages. Na'Vi looked like they were running away with this one right here. But after some good plays, remember we had Farley on the scout. We've got Maiden right here. We've got Crystal holding his breath. There we go. <laughs> just a clap. Just a, just a clap, not a yell. Keeping himself composed right there. Back in we go, I guess. Started all over again. I guess Na'Vi are getting flustered, it feels like, almost, as Crystal tries to exploit that. Finding simple. You're going to be happy with that one. Yeah, very nice AK from uh, Flamey there. He's done some creative uh, skin choices. He's, he's got the green gloves to go with it. Mm. The hydro Loves gardening. Yeah. It's a green, green thumb. A green thumb, certainly. Just like my grandma. <laughs> Farley's starting to wake up a little here, but had a bit of a shocker of a half coming online now. The clock's starting to dwindle a little, so they check on it. Oh, they do, but not particularly well. Boomich comes right back in, and the CTs are getting very pushy here. Very pushy. 
Godsend have the man advantage thanks to Farley's flashed frag. Now Bomb will be scooped on up. He's got 40 seconds alongside his partner Electronic going for a walk in the yard. Stretching his legs, getting his step count up. Claim me a little more stationary. We'll have to be top side. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this is exactly what they're hoping for. They're hoping mm. Zen gets caught slipping. Oh, now it's open. Venti can swing in. Flame's not checking it. Electronic oh. was his responsibility. And again, Maiden has been the shining light for Godsend on the CT side. Any top site actions, 90% of the time have been shut down by some multi-kills from Maiden. Isn't that insane, though, that the setup they went for was, you sit behind CT vent, I'll sit on top of Hut with my head exposed to main, and if I die, you kill both of them? That was the strat. It, that, like, that, but honestly, that, that is the set that he's put himself in risk knowing that that could happen. So there's a lot of pressure put on Maiden right there. It's not the ideal setup, obviously, in those situations when you lose track of players. It's hard to make the right Top call. Top or ramp. Ooh. Top or ramp. Okay, two outside. Interesting. So Tech 9 Armor Util. They are nading off the door. They want to go down, I think. Get yeah, puggy, boys. Let's see what they can do with it. Don't mind it at all. Down we go. This could be a quick one. Sound cues are plenty. Zen heard it. Trying to get across. Uh -oh. There is a potential is. for a second smoke. Finally, we'll start calling for the rotate. Bomb's there as well, but there is a molly. You might hold them back. Ooh, Look how much space! He's yeah. already being sicker to the punch, but nice whack and wet. Whoop. Work with the weapon. Sticko, just out on an island now. He's the one taking all these fights. Uh, maybe he has to be a little careful. He is low. You'd like to see him stay at... Wait. Oh, okay, that was simple. Right, I was so confused. Three. I was so confused that was flamey. Uh, simple now, though. Got the first... Oh, Christ! Okay. Simple! Someone stop him. Thank you, Chris. Ooh. Please don't let that ever happen again. I'm... I'm 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 we scared want of him. More of that. I'm we want scared of him. More of that. 15, 13. That's the type of counter strike I want to see. I want I want the crazy CS. I want right. the, the headshots. You want the headshots. I want the 360 no scopes. 60 no scopes. I, I just need to see more action like this. And look, it's together. Beautiful, perfect <sighs> weapon for the job. The best Deagle. Again. <sighs> that one is better than the Deagle Blaze, ladies and gentlemen. I guarantee you. Is it more expensive? I don't know, but I'm just saying it is out of my opinion and then doubling down. because he owns it. So we've got uh, six in a row right here for Godsend in the tail end of map number one. They've been go. able to battle back in quite a fashion. And Na'Vi with Simple on 32 kills, Electronic on 22, Flamey even hitting some absolute bangers, have been so close on so many occasions to getting across the line here. It always just feels like there's just that one little step further they need to go. And then they'll break Godsend. So. Their options are now limited. Two more cracks at it. Max loss bonus will be in play. They need to get the bomb down on this round here, even if they lose it, to make sure they get a good buy going into what will be round number 30 of the game. So keep that in mind. On the other side of things, you can see cash is still quite strugglesome for some. Crystal down there on the MP9. But the rest have rifles finally on the AWP. Oh, don't worry, Chad. They're getting a good buy in this round. Aha. You know what I'm saying? Aha. One round is all that separates Na'Vi from the first in this best of three. God sense pick, however, closing that gap some consecutive rounds. Six in consecutive row from 23 to 28. A different lineup for Perfecto, or he's just waiting. Okay. So that's two of three. Missing the third component, now flying in from elsewhere. Zen, smoked off. It's a lot of smokes. Yeah, he plans to try and push this though, and Electronics respecting the smoke. Oh, 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 that's enough. He sees him, knocks him off, and gets away with three HP. That's a big find. This is madness to me. I feel like Navi just keep running to a brick wall, honestly. It's very impressive from the CT side. I really thought this game was over, if I'm completely honest. I thought God sent. Just didn't have it in them, but they are showing some grit, some determination, and Farley missing the opportunity on Perfecto at no man's end. How is he alive? He's probably not so sure either. Perfecto, just light flump of his lines, and yes, now you can actually play around that window when the smoke is present. Have your mm. vision denied. Wow. And it's simple to deny Sticko just in there off angle, tucked in on the box. Boom, it should find a frag here. Zen's so low. It, this man's just a wizard. He's still, he's getting kills. He's still standing. I do not, I do not fathom this, and I don't understand how Simple's just found three. We've got Perfecto with one as. Big Perfecto, 
and his headset say it all. <laughs> Happy to get that one under their belt, 16 to 13.